What's going on everyone? Zach with servicegab.com and right now we're going to talk about cold calling. We're going to cover four topics under one subject and just lay it all out there. The first one we're going to cover is how to generate leads for cold calling. Instead of just picking up the phone book, randomly picking people to call, I'm going to tell you how to have qualified people you're calling upon. Uh, the second thing we'll talk about is tips and techniques on how to cold call, what your script should consist of and what it shouldn't consist of. The third topic is going to be the objections. When somebody says, you know, no, or, you know, send me something or whatever, we'll talk about how to handle that. And the fourth and most important, I think, is how to better yourself at cold calling. Um, so the first topic is how to generate the list. The, there's a few ways to do this. You can Google certain businesses. You can um, uh, purchase leads from someone online. You can, uh, you know, do what Shane DeBall does. He finds businesses that are growing he, um, people who are investing back themselves and he calls upon them, very smart. Um, so that's, that's a really good way to do it. I think that one of the best ways to uh, cold call is pick an area you want to target. Uh, find any businesses that could use your service in that area and then break it down per industry so you can keep tabs on which one you're getting your best return rate from. Uh, that, that helps out a lot. That, that way you know, hey, this industry, I'm getting more response from this one, so you know where to put your money at in the future. Okay, topic number two is going to be tips and techniques of cold calling. Basically, what you should do, what you should avoid. Uh, the first thing to always remember is it's not about the sale on the phone. You're basically trying to get uh, a face-to-face -face with this person and offer a demo. That's huge in this. You want to offer a free demo. Um, you're second thing to do is remember call in the mornings call between uh, Tuesday and Thursday 9 to 11 9 to 12 the reason is Mondays is after a weekend somebody might be playing catch up from the previous week you don't know Fridays is the going into the weekend nobody really cares after lunchtime most most cases people shut off they don't they don't want to you know answer emails they don't set up appointments typically and uh, this can be an issue so times you really want to call are Tuesday through Thursday about 9 to 12 is when our, that's when we are peak times to call us. We do make calls in the afternoon, but we typically try to do them uh, first thing in the mornings for that reason to catch the people on, on top of their game. Um, it's very, very important to smile when you're making these calls. Don't sound like a drone. Don't carry on. Don't sound like you've been rejected 20 times before. Just, you know, smile. If you have to make 5 to 10 calls and you get all no's, step back, take a 10, 15 minute break, and then go back at it. Um, the, the key is to being relaxed. Just be yourself, be natural, but you want to keep it short, just right to the point, and, and I mean, just be direct with them. Let them know who you are, how, uh, who you're with, how you can benefit them, and uh, I mean, and, and like I said, try to set up the demo. Um, so when you make your calls, you got your list, you've already pre qualified people, you know who you're targeting, you call and you get a hold of the gatekeeper, which is typically the, the woman at the front desk, the secretary, whoever. Um, when you're talking to this person, it's very important to be nice. Just go out of your way if they tell your name. Hi, my name's Jane. Uh, Jane, uh, it was great, you know, talking to you today. Is, is there any way you could help me with something? Ask for them assistance. Make them feel super important. Go, go make them feel like you're putting them on a pedestal. This will help you tenfold when you're trying to get a hold of the person in charge. So let's say you do get a hold of the person in charge. They they put you through to them. Uh, the the key is, which I've already stated, direct. Tell them who you are who you're with, how you can benefit them. I mean, it's that simple. And, and try to get that meeting. You know, don't waste their time on the phone. Nobody wants to spend 10, 15, 20 minutes on the phone talk, just back and forth about pointless talk that you could do in person. So don't waste their time. Just keep it simple. Okay, I basically created a, a short, just a two, three sentence script. You know, just give you a general idea of what you're trying to say when you're calling these people. And then we'll kind of dissect it and, and see the, the, the key points. I wrote, hey, this is Zach with Presidential Cleaning. We clean a few buildings in your area with our janitorial services and also our carpet and tile cleaning. I was calling to see when it would be a good time to set up a meeting with you and possibly schedule a free, no obligation demo. Now, the two things are going to happen. You're going to hear yes, no, actually three, yes, no, or let me, you know, let me call you back or something. Um, what you're trying to do is, is exactly what I just read to you. You want to keep it short, simple, and to the point. I told him who I was, who I was with, what my what I was offering, and then I try to schedule a demo. That's the key. I mean, you're just meeting these people, and you're throwing out the word free right off the bat. That's going to catch their attention. Uh, remember, it's not about selling the phone. It's about selling in person. You're closing them in person, not on the phone. 
So it's pretty simple. It's really not that hard. And I think that's where a lot of people fail is they overcomplicate it. They try to do too much on the phone. Remember, it's not about the phone. The phone's just letting those people know who you are. Hey, I'm out here. Let's schedule a meeting. Um, the next part would be cold calling objectives. Um, you know, like I said, this could go yes, no, or, or you know, let me call you back. This is an objective now. Like anything but yes is an objective. So when when they say um, something along the lines of send me your information, uh, I'll get back to you. Um, we're not interested at this time. Never just say okay, thanks for your time and hang up. Don't. That's the worst thing you could possibly do. They might have a current staff that, that they are, they're happy with now, but who's to say a new manager or somebody won't come in and replace them and not be happy with the cleaning crew? So you always want to be on, on point, always want to be on contact. Don't don't overdo it. I'm not talking about calling the person four times a day, two emails a day, and the next thing you know, you're sitting outside the driveway of their house. That's not what you want to do at all. Um, keep it professional, people. So what you want to do is... Uh, yeah, sure. Let me send you my information, but I'll follow back up in a couple days with you. See if you look at, you know, if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, if they say something along the lines of, uh, I'll have to talk to my boss. So you don't get a hold of the, the, the shot call. You get a hold of an assistant or something. They're like, yeah, you know, let me get this information to my boss and we'll talk to him. I say, awesome. If, you know, if you could connect me to his voicemail, I'll leave him a, just a quick message of who I am so he can expect this kind of stuff. Uh, you can also say, um, that's fine, I'll call you back in a couple of days. Always let them know you're going to follow back up. Never just end it with, okay, thanks for your time, see you later. Um, you know, nothing like that. So keep, say positive. You're going to hear no more times than you're going to hear yes every single time. So you want to just, that one yes can be worth it though. So keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, finally, let's talk about some key points of cold calling. Um, remember, first thing is you want to find good leads. You want to have good qualified leads, and you get these from purchasing a lead list online. Um, uh, being a member of your, the local chamber, they can pr uh, pull lists for you for businesses. Uh, very detailed, too. Um, you can also get uh, Google, uh, the Business Journal. I mean, there's a bunch of ways to get it, but make sure they're qualified for what you're looking for. You're not just calling random people. Uh, two, make sure no matter what you do, every time you pick up the phone to call, you're smiling. That's huge. That, you know. Just keep smiling, put off a more pleasant tone than not. Uh, third, whoever answers the phone, gatekeeper, might be the owner of the business, whoever, be respectful. Go out of your way to say their name, to uh, to make them feel like, just wow, this person's extremely nice. That goes a very long way, especially in this industry. Um, and also, you want to make sure, uh, the next point is make sure you are making these calls at prime times. Tuesday through Thursdays, 9 to 12 typically, sometimes in the afternoon, depending on what business you're calling. But I find early mornings, uh, Tuesday through Thursday, works best for us. Um, I mean, plan days to make this happen. Uh, you know, uh, if you're on the truck or if you're in the office or whatever, take one or two days during those prom times and just call. Call as many places as you can. If you keep getting no's, put the phone down, go take a break, come back, rework your script. It's going to change each time. Remember that. It's not the same script for every single person. Every, you know, they might throw something different at you. You got to be ready. So practice these a few different scripts so so you have them all. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, we'll go into more on our next videos on how to sell in person. How you know we walk in places and, and sell. Uh, we'll do videos on that. So uh, lots more coming. Uh, if you have any questions, just send me an email at zach at servicegab.com. But uh, until next time, thanks.